being able to like manage up to the board and like, you know, talk about really hard things in very diplomatic and convincing ways. I think people are afraid of boards. Like I sit on a board, I we, we literally can't tell you what to do. We'll make suggestions, but people take that at face value and they go, oh, the board told me to do this. Boards can't actually, we're, we're non-operating officers for a reason. Like we can't tell you what to do. We will make suggestions, but um, I'm also sitting there trying to understand what's going on. And great CPOs can come in and tell their story in a way that everybody goes, oh, and sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's like, hey, actually we're gonna have to redo this or we made a mistake. Those conversations are just as good because if you could tell why and how you're gonna fix it and how you're not gonna you know, like do that again, it makes such a difference hearing those different stories. And when somebody comes in and is like, we made a mistake, but don't give any detail or don't say how it's gonna be different next time, then you start to lose confidence in people. So I, I think if you have a great CPO, I, I'd say like working, like working with the board and being able to communicate that, but also back up to the CEO. Like they're really good at getting those people on board with your plan and what you're trying to do. And they work as a partnership and they ask questions and they're humble enough to like admit mistakes, but like come back and build those bonds and build those relationships with really important people. That is super, super cool. Um, I really enjoy working with you, Melissa, in some of the board discussions as well. It's really to a lot of members there and thinking of boards and managing them versus they're just great resource and sounding board, understand the challenges, what's working and what's not. So um, that was a very interesting comment to say the best CPU can say no. <laughs> yeah. And I agree with that. Like, I, I do agree with that, Brian. It's like how they say no. It, it, everybody can say no, but the right. best CPOs say no in a way where everybody goes, okay, <laughs> like I get it. Right. And like some people are always going to be upset, but like they do it in a way that preserves relationships and allows you to move forward. That's the, that's the like difference between, you know, anybody saying no and a great CPO saying no. And I do agree. Like they have to say no, they have to be, I, I don't think you get to a VP of product position without being able to say no. So let's put it that way. But as a CPO, you can have really hard conversations about what you have to start doing, stop doing, not be able to do, um, but you keep, you keep the faith. Right. It is so critical. It's so critical. The, the, 